Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today we'd be doing a video on the brand new Lisa Eldred Sculpt and Shade Lip Pencils. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe, we'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. As you guys know, I'm always on the hunt for the best deep brown lip pencil. As you guys know, I love the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense. So I was very excited to see if these could compare, if they'd be as good, if anything could be as good as that. So I'm going to be testing these out for you guys today. Thank you very much to Lisa Eldridge for sending me these to try. I know you guys really wanted to see these. This launch came at the absolute perfect time and I'm very excited to try these. So Lisa says, skin true tones are at the heart of this effortless and easy to use naturally enhancing lip pencil it comes in 10 shades and there are shades for every skin tone which is a really great idea now the shades i got were 2n which today which she says is a medium cork brown with neutral undertones 3n which she says is a rich deep chocolate brown with neutral undertones and then i also got 3w which is a deep terracotta brown with warm undertones so these are 20 pounds each and 28 us dollars and they are coming soon to the us so if you are in the us you will be able to get these they are available in the uk at the moment at 20 pounds which is fine for a lip pencil the charlotte tilbury is 21 so it's actually cheaper than the charlotte tilbury and you get a lip sharpener so hopefully it's as good I'm very excited to try it so I'm just going to get into it I'm going to show you guys the packaging show you some swatches and then I'm going to get into a demo So those are the swatches on. They're actually quite interesting. The shade number 3W is a bit more red. The shade 2N 
uh, which is a slightly lighter brown. It does remind me a lot of my Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown. It's not quite the same shade, but it's very close. I'd say the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown is ever so slightly lighter, um, but if you've got that and you want something ever so slightly darker, like literally just a touch deeper than this, the 2N is a really good shade for that. 3N is very close to the MAC Chestnut and the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense. I don't think it's exactly the same. I do think that the 3N from Lisa Eldridge is ever so slightly lighter than the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense and the Chestnut, but only literally by a smidge. Not Nothing like genuinely noticeable. Uh, the Decade, as I remember it, is quite red. It's much more of a Bordeaux for me. I've always paired it with red lipsticks rather than browns or nudes. The actual packaging is really, really nice. They're all really pretty. They have a gold uh, body and then the shade, the corresponding shades are at the bottom. The lids are also the right colour for the lip pencil so if you've got a few it's really handy to be able to see which one. I feel like I know which one I'll be leading towards of these three and it's definitely the 3N but I'm going to try them all on. I really like the fact I've got some new uh, pencil sharpeners as well. It just makes my life a lot easier uh, knowing that I have pencil sharpeners everywhere. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to try these. I like the formulation. I would say that the the Lisa Eldridge Decade, I think they're called the Enhance Lip Pencils, they're slightly softer, ever so slightly. These ones felt soft, but they have had a bit more firmness to them, which I think I do prefer. That's one of the things that I like about the Charlotte Tilbury, it's got a bit of firmness to it, it just feels like it will stay, stay in place and not kind of move, uh, which you want a lip pencil not to do. I'm going to start with, I'll probably start with the light brown, um, and then I'll go into the... 3W and then I'll go and finish with the 3N where I think is where I'll probably want to end up anyway. So I'm back and I'm first I'm going to try on the shade 2N in the Sculpt and Shade Lip Pencil. That's it on the bottom lip. As you can see I do have slight, uh, slightly deeper lip line that goes ever so slightly greater. This is a really nice neutralizer for that. I do like this. It's very, very subtle. You wouldn't tell I have anything on, but it definitely does neutralize the color of my bottom lips. I'm gonna give you a quick close up. So this is a really nice natural brown. If you do want something that's the same color as your skin tone and you don't want to create that dimension or that sculpting effect, I feel like this is a really nice th a color for that. And I think if you're slightly fairer at skin tone than I am, then this is gonna be a really nice brown for you. It's a gorgeous shade. Um, I think it's a bit light for how I would usually wear it, but it does do for me what the Foxy Brown does for me, which is basically just, um, shape my lip without adding any color uh because obviously it's the same color as my skin tone so i do like this i think if you like the foxy brown then you're really going to like this one because they're basically the same shade this does feel a little bit creamier to go on and it's really nice actually it feels very soft and creamy on without being too creamy which is good So that's the shade 2N on on its own. I'll show you what it looks like with a bit of lip gloss just in case you do like to wear a very natural brown lip liner with a lip gloss. Since it's a Lisa Eldridge day, I'm gonna use the one of my favorite lip glosses. I think this is it, this is a fair. I'm not sure, one of my favorite lip glosses from Lisa Eldridge. I'm pretty sure it's a fair. Next up is the shade 3W. This one is a bit more red, uh, slightly more red than I would go for, but something I could definitely pair with a brown lipstick or maybe a red lipstick as well. So we're gonna see how this goes.
So this one's definitely more of a kind of uh, terracotta brown. I personally don't wear this kind of shade very much just because it doesn't give the look I tried to go for, uh, but I do like the feel of these. I'm going to pair this with the shade uh, Meet Me in Berlin by Lisa Aldridge. It's a lipstick that's quite a natural brown. I want to see what this looks like with a brown. Um, otherwise, I'll probably pair it with a red. So guys, I am back to finally answer the question that I've been wanting to know. Does the new Lisa Aldridge lip pencil compare to my favourite lip pencil, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense? <laughs> Sorry if I'm falling into the camera, I'm a bit fluey. Um, so I'm going to test it out. Finally, I'm excited. Uh, here we go. Let's go. So far so good, I'm liking the look of this very much. I'm going to give you a quick close up. So I feel like the shade of this one is very very similar, it's ever so slightly warmer I think. It's a little bit silkier on as well but it does still feel like it has a good grip to it. So I'm excited about this, it feels very dupey, which is always a good thing, it feels like normal, which is good. I think it's ever so slightly lighter, ever so slightly softer, uh, but so far I'm feeling it. So uh, what I need to do now is actually put on something I would normally put on. So I'm going to put on my NARS because like, to be fair that's what I wear a lot at the moment and this way I'll actually be able to tell what it looks like. I'm going to put on the NARS in the shade American Woman. <laughs> definitely feels like a silkier formulation the lip the the Lisa Eldridge lip pencil just putting this on top of it doesn't feel as dry and as powdery as the Charlotte usually does I do think the shades are pretty good it definitely feels creamier it definitely feels silkier and softer which is interesting actually and maybe something I do want I don't know I'm so used to having like a dry drier lip from the drier lip pencil that I'm not used to this, but I do think it gives the same effect. It just feels slightly creamier and it feels slightly softer on. I do think these lip pencils are nice. They're very different to the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I do like the shade 3N. I feel like that's the shade for me, but I do think I will actually use 2N quite a bit more. I'm not sure how much I'll use 3W. I think I will pair it more with reds than with browns. That was a bit of a random test I was doing just to see what happened. So uh, the 3N for me is definitely the shade. It looks a lot like what I would normally have. It looks a lot more natural as well, which is interesting. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury gives me a bit more edge, but this looks a bit more natural. It's the same effect but it looks a bit more seamless on my skin it definitely feels a lot more comfortable and creamy it does look very very natural on it just feels a bit more seamless but it's got that same powdery finish as well and it works really well with the NARS which I always wear I think it just looks really good um it's definitely dried down a little bit now it's got a bit more grip to it obviously the the NARS power mat power mats also has that grip to it um so they've worked really well together um but I'm really really impressed with this it's really nice. So guys, that is it. Those are the brand new Sculpt and Shade Lip Pencils from Lisa Eldridge. I really like these. I feel like they look very natural on, and I really like the shade 3N on me. It just looks looks like my Pillow Talk Intense, but a little bit more natural, a little bit more seamless, a little bit more grown up um, and undetectable, which is always a good thing. So I'm really impressed with these. I feel like they're a little bit more hydrating, actually much more hydrating, and really really nice let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys will you be buying anything will you be trying anything do you like the look of these let me know anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we'd love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one